Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a Korean dipping sauce for your fried chicken. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. Now depending on how many chickens that you use, this is good for at least 12 pieces of chicken using all the different kinds. But I'm going to go ahead and pre-mince everything up and start making this because this video is going to go super fast because this whole sauce takes less than 5 minutes to make. So go ahead and add your half a cup of your favorite brand of ketchup. It doesn't matter what kind it is. And then set your measuring cup aside because we're going to put water in there later to use it with the ketchup that's remaining in there. Again, I went ahead and pre-minced my green onion. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw all of that in there because you guys don't need to see me chopping up some onions. I did use one. You can use up to two if you'd like. Next is your garlic. You need at least four cloves of minced garlic in this. And if you guys just see this, yep, my camera fell right into the sauce. So let's start all over again. Now I am adding two tablespoons of Splenda. You can use regular sugar, you can use brown sugar, you can even use honey if you'd like for this recipe. Next I'm going to be adding a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you guys use spicier kinds, then use a little bit less. You can omit this part altogether if you'd like, but it's really not that spicy, but it does give it a good little flavor, a little spicy kick. My youngest love this sauce, so it's really not that spicy for anyone. Next you're going to find several different kinds of sweet chili sauce, but this is a kind that I like. It's maple. You can find it in pretty much any grocery store that you go to. But we're going to use two heaping tablespoons of this sauce right into the pot. You can be very generous with this. This is a very tasty sauce that has a little bit of a sweetness, a spiciness, a a little bit of a fishy taste, but it's not overwhelming or strong, so don't let that scare you at all. But it's absolutely del delicious by itself or in the sauce altogether. Now add a quarter cup of water in that same measuring cup we use for the ketchup, so you can kind of use all that water in the ketchup altogether. We're going to let this boil. By the way, again, this is being cooked on a high heat and it goes really fast, so this will be done within minutes. Now we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You can use the peppercorn kind, you can use your black pepper flakes, whatever works for you. And then add a pinch of salt or just your salt preference. You don't have to add too much in there at all. And all we're going to do is just mix this up over our high heat setting here and this is it. All we're going to do is just serve this on a side dish. You can dip it, you can pour it on top of your chicken, however it is that you'd like to enjoy this. But this sauce is here just to help you elevate your fried chicken. If you happen to be at the grocery store and you're, I know how it is. You go grocery shopping, you come home, you put it all away and you're too tired to cook. So you just grab some chicken. And if you do, this is perfect to go with it. I hope you guys like this video even with my little mess up there with my camera falling down. But if you guys like this, please hit that share button, subscribe, like it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.